an historic but little advertised event took place at the United Nations earlier this year. Number one is the first human rights convention of the 21st century. More importantly, it's the first time in UN history that a convention has been negotiated between governments and civil society. It's called the International Convention on the Rights and Dignities of People with Disabilities. Many believe it will have a transformative effect on society. It changes the fundamentals for people with disabilities all over the world. The basic change is it puts rights first. A dramatic shift in perspective has been taking place over the past two decades. More than 650 million people with disabilities, almost 10% of the world's population, have started to be viewed as holders of rights and abilities. Traditionally, we've had education, we've had employment, we've had all sorts of activities. A person with a disability may or may not be considered may or may not receive a good outcome. By ratifying this convention, a country is saying, number one, we accept that every person in society has a right, a right to education, a right to employment, a right to information. Accessibility is a core aspect of the convention, accessible transportation, accessible information in all forms. If we do not have linguistic rights, uh, we don't, for instance, have the right to education in our own language, we don't have the right to access information in our language, be educated or, or use our own language, and that way we cannot communicate. While such a convention could appear obvious, it represents a structural change in the treatment of people with differentiated abilities, including invisible, mental, and emotional disabilities. When we have the first country where people don't have to be afraid of being forced drugged or electroshocked, I think that will be a day that I can't even imagine. I think where we're at now is still at a stage in the process. We've had about 24 or 25 ratifications. My own country doesn't happen to be among them, which I, I the United States, which I am intending to work for that ratification. A new generation of disability leaders is emerging to ensure that the convention's transformative statutes are implemented the world over. The activists have faith that real change can happen if the rights and responsibilities laid out in this convention are communicated to all levels of government and society. Being part of the human rights regime gives us a stature in the world, a platform from which we can really advocate and be heard. It's a tool that we have never had before and we have to use it and really learn how to use it well. As long as we continue trying to say to governments, please do something, it gets back into the charity model, it becomes too hard, it becomes marginalized. What we fundamentally need is access to media. If we can't alert media to make this a mainstream global issue, we won't get the funding. It's really that simple. 60 years after the Declaration of Human Rights, the Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities is a cornerstone of international law and is helping address the rights of those who have been invisible for too long. A new bridge to social inclusion and a new hope for equity and justice for all.